Ah, uh, I'm back, and this is video 61 in my Amazing Cultivation Simulator Vanilla series. And I'm currently in the process of pretty much waiting for it to become spring so that I can do my Golden Core Breakthrough on my Nimbus Disciple, which is this lady right here, Lady Cloud, who has 66,000 Mass Chi in Core Shaping, so they will have a really big Golden Core score. And I pretty much just got done spending most of my time playing the game offline while learning how to use spirit roots and how to grow them and pretty much learning a good chunk of everything about spirit roots, which is what I covered in my last two videos. And one thing that I want to point out that I didn't notice in my last video is that spirit roots actually get their fertility based on they have fertility based on or sorry spirit roots actually add fertility to only the room that they're in if they are in a room so I would have to break down different walls to pretty much make it so that I can increase the fertility of a certain amount of tiles right and I'm pretty sure I did explain that in the last video or I don't really remember so I went ahead and created a different blueprint in which I used the in which I expanded these rooms right here to fit the spirit roots fertility. So right here I have this blueprint that's just flooring that I can use as like an indicator to help me out to figure out the range of the fertility increase that a blessed spirit root would provide. Right. So right here I have this spare root right here this prism lotus and then if I just if this wheat was not in my way it would be easier but if I pretty much just slap this blueprint around it then I could kind of be able to see like how far I would want or how big I would actually want this room to be so that I could see what the fertility would be like so for example my blueprint expands out to two tiles past this wall so if I demolish this wall then you'll see that the fertility should increase for this tile right here so this is at 1.4 and then let's see what happens when I remove it so now it's at 0 0.68 and that's because the spirit root is cursed so let me collect all of these up flooring right here yeah so this spirit root is cursed but as you can see it's affecting the fertility of these two tiles and then this tile is fine so that's pretty much how I know that my blueprint works so I do want to move forward and then and move my um, spirit roots over to spirit soil just because I have it and I do want to utilize it just because I want to be able to use my spirit roots to for my golden curve breakthrough for my disciple ho hopefully and then one thing about spirit roots is that when they are growing the sympathy bonus that you can get from them also depends on whether or not they're blessed or cursed so I'm just gonna pull up this cell sheet that I have prepared so right here it I have it documented down and these are numbers that I got from the wiki so blessed spirit roots will give you a two times potential bonus and uh, a 20 mental state bonus and uh, and it will reduce your cultivation speed by 100 while cursed spirit roots will increase your cultivation speed by 100 and then they will reduce your mental state by 20 and then increase your potential by, or reduce your potential by 1s right and then s is just whatever the factor is so let's see if I just go back into this wiki page and show you guys what that looks like I just want to be clear that it's not going to increase your potential by one but there's a formula that's used and that is what's going to determine how much potential you get but as you can see the formula is double when it's blessed and is just one x when it's cursed so basically like one uh, two cursed bear roots would give the same bonus as one blessed bear root to potential 
and then it's kind of the opposite with cultivation speed so you can always like balance it out but it's kind of hard to figure out what you want to do and my um my nimbus disciple right here she's missing some mental state and i'm not really sure that i can keep it above 95 during the mental during the golden curve breakthrough so i do want to actually grow some spirit roots in this plot of land and set it up such that this cultivator is going to be gaining mental state from the spirit roots that i have in total so this is the setup that i'm planning to do and uh, let's see this person is at let, let me check their base mental state first i don't want to say it so their base mental state is 23 all right So because their base mental state is 23, I think I do want to get pretty much the maximum bonus that I can without ruining their cultivation speed so much. So I do want to go with this four blessed spirit roots and one cursed spirit root so that I can have a mental state bonus of 60. And this person doesn't even need cultivation speed. I was just thinking about that mainly because I do have like 30 days that I could get up that I could increase the inner cauldron. So maybe that would be something but if I change it to five blessed spirit roots and then no cursed spirit roots then they would get a 100 mental state bonus at the very least right or maybe at the maximum I don't know what value this M starts at because it's 20 times M and then M is set by 0 0.5 plus the absolute value of the bless or curse interesting okay so you only get half of this bonus actually so I need to change this to sell sheet so that's even more reason for me to use five bless spirit roots because I, w I wouldn't get a 100 bonus I would get a 50 mental state bonus so all of these are naturally starting off at half of the bonus and then as you accumulate more blessed and cursed points for your spirit roots then it slowly converges to be like a 1.0 bonus so then that's when it would become 100 um, mental state bonus but right now I can only get a 50 mental state bonus which is pretty much exactly what I need because I'm comfortably at 75 mental state right now and I would like to be at higher than that so pretty much what I'm going to do is set up my blueprint here and I do have a blueprint that I created which is pretty much like my array along with all of the spirit roots combined and they're all separated in rooms so that they can enhance or reduce the fertility of their own specific rooms while also providing a bonus to the cultivator so I can show you guys what that look like but it's very complicated so if you really wouldn't like to learn a little bit more about this you might have to message me on the discord honestly so let's go into that so here it is I call this the fertility array and right now honestly it is pretty dark in my game so I want to wait until about 11 o'clock in the next day because the game gets significantly brighter at 11 o'clock because that's the time for the yen breakthrough and the yen breakthrough is based on or I don't even know which one is I think it actually might be the yang breakthrough but basically you can tell because the breakthroughs are based on the amount of light that's going off like naturally inside the, of the game so I just know that around 11 o'clock is when you have the breakthroughs that start to prefer the to have better lighting so let me just do this um, 1 billion tribulation in the meantime because I do have a couple of more 1 billion tribulation that I need to do while I wait for that lighting to get better so this is a wood breakthrough so I'm going to do this and I attack the wall so that I can enter combat and use a spell to recover my chi for anyone who isn't caught up on my videos But yeah, this array that I'm working on is like very weird and very like kind of specific to me. So it's kind of 
understandable if it's pretty hard for you to understand but I think it might work <laughs> and I also just got another feng shui where I look right here so that's pretty nice and I just need to also be sure to watch my spirit stone blocks just to make sure that I don't completely run out because I do want to use spirit stone blocks to build my array as of now so let me also make sure I have some disciples crafting these spirit stone blocks Hmm. I have two guys a smith so these guys are crafting the bows and then I should have someone else crafting the spirit stone blocks so I have one guy and this guy's a builder so I'll need to reassign them once I get back into that okay so I have three crafters and three smiths so it seems pretty even Come on, Vitality Chant. Okay, Vitality Chant is up. So I use my Reverse Cycle. And as you can see, we're at 4 o'clock right now. So I'm just watching this. Vitality Chant. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, someone stole the mandate. Or they got it before us. Nice, we're at 11 o'clock and my tribulation has just ended. So that worked out perfectly for me, honestly. <laughs> so, besides that, I did notice that on this demigod, right? I didn't learn this manual right here, which is soul splitting book of eastwood and this right here is the law exclusive manual to primary the symbols law cultivators so i could use this to gain i think a total of nine extra soul spirits i believe because it's two plus three that's five and then it's four yeah so you get nine extra ones everyone has the ability to, to get the tier one manual which gives one so i just count it as nine extra but this guy also doesn't have the first one so i could just learn this manual and get 10 more sub spirits and then only need to do three more tribulations but i kind of want to be greedy and like get more inspiration because right now i'm at 389 million so i would rather have as much inspiration as i can get from these tribulations just because i don't know for bragging rights i guess sometimes we just play the game to brag you know so anyways now that that's settled I want to start to do my planning for this and as you can see the light is 11 o'clock right now so the light is pretty good so right here I have this blueprint that I called the fertility array don't ask why this is just what I decided to name it <laughs> it was really I guess because I wanted to focus on increasing their fertility and managing the temperature of these different rooms so that these spirit roots would continue to grow while also burst, bolstering the fertility of the tiles around them. I don't want to ruin my wheat farm, but I'm fine with letting go of my ginseng and my lingzi because I have so many different ways to get foundation ESP. And I have a lot of red ginseng and I have a lot of ganoderma. And that should be more than I'll ever need. So I'm just going to place this array somewhere, but at the same time, I do have this really big wheat farm, so I don't know. Does it matter? Probably not. And then let's see, I have 55,000 wheat, and I'm producing, I'm only losing 60 wheat a day, so that would make it so that I could last for at least like a thousand days, and I'm only on day 300. And 22 so I think it'll be fine for me to lose some of these spirit soil wheat areas so as you can see this blueprint requires me to use some spirit crystal blocks and then I also have bamboo up cut off cut so the spirit crystal displays were actually just there for show so that I can know where I wanted to put my spirit roots so I don't even need this this is just a visual cue for me for when I do set up the blueprint 
and then I also want to clear out this farm area and then remove it so I'll do remove field and then uh, remove the herb garden and then besides that flooring will actually set fertility to zero so I definitely don't want to use the flooring but the flooring was just there for visuals as well so that pretty much just leaves me with this and I do want this flooring right here because this is the flooring that I use for my array and I'm hoping that I didn't ruin anything else let's see because this is all bamboo offcut and I don't use bamboo offcut for my indicators for my array and then besides that I do have these spirit stone chi cushions which are appropriate however hmm I want to move these over later on so let's just cancel these for now because I need to place items under the cushions and then uh, when I made this array I had it in mind that I would be using multiple disciples to cultivate that's why I have four but right now I just want to focus on a middle tile because I'm only just doing this for my main disciple but maybe if I did another gameplay or if I had the energy to raise up some more cultivators at once then I would bring it back but I really just need one spirit cushion or one spirit stone cushion or one cultivation cushion in general so yeah that's pretty much where I'm at and hopefully this turns out pretty nicely so let me just make this guy a builder again so that they can get on top of that and then do my acquisitions to clear everything up and then while that's waiting I don't think that my guy will have my guys will have built this before it gets dark so I'll just do another tribulation in the meantime so I'll start off with reverse the cycle just to get a nice full hill oh. I didn't even notice I had um, enemies attacking let's see how is this guy hurt okay no major injuries wait what was that Oh, a toothache. Nothing too crazy. And this guy's unconscious. This is a primordial spirit beast, so I actually do want to sell contract on it. Just so that I can get a nice tier 12 contract. Could I do that on this guy too? Let's see. There's nothing better than getting tier 12 contracts. I think it worked. Yeah, it did okay so this one ended up being tier 10 but luckily this one was a tier 12 board contract I might not even need it I'm just getting it just to collect anyways back to this tribulation this is a wood tribulation again and I believe reverse the cycle should be good I'm really looking forward to see how much inspiration this guy will have after doing I don't even remember how many I think I did at least 40 1 billion tribulations vitality chant just gonna keep going with the usual okay Gonna reverse the cycle that one. Keep this up. Right now it's two o'clock. Vitali Chan is up again. This is so nice. This never gets old, I'm sorry. This absolutely never ever gets old. Oops. Let's see. I think it's time for a reverse the cycle. And it's 6 o'clock right now. And now Vitality Chant to end it. So now I'm at 410 million inspiration. So that's really nice. 
I want to check these sec trades too because I don't believe that I checked them last time I played. And if I did, I probably did it in a very lazy way. Yeah, so these are already two items that I wouldn't mind having. So let's just buy these. I'm misclicking things. Wudang sec. Hmm. A whoop demon fang is always welcome in the sect. I really don't like how I have to like go off the screen to accept the trade, honestly. Like I wish I could just hit confirm and then just stay on the trade menu. Maybe there could be a mod that could do something like that. And this is a stack of 25 Serenity Soul Gems, so I believe that this is a stack that was randomly rolled. So I'm just going to get that from 7 Slaughtering Sword, Pit of Doom. What do you guys have? Lassitives, I mean, huh? It's medicine, I'll take it. This is what happens when you become rich, you're just like, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I kind of just want the Holy Stone block. Snake Gowl is pretty good. Let's see. Okay, so they na they naturally sell that. And then, uh, what is this? Oh, it's an artifact. They have a talisman based artifact. That's interesting. And then besides that, these um, sects also have these laws that I can buy too. That could be really useful too. Increasing my cultivators like power, so I will probably end up buying those Once I get to the point of like okay now that I have this really strong golden core score Let's try to see how strong I can make this disciple overall And my builders are still not even close to being done. Well, I only have one builder, so There's nothing I can do about that and I <laughs> I see I messed up on my blueprint and I have him boxed in so let me actually add this areas where I would have my doors. That makes sense though. Hopefully they can get most of this done, even though I messed up there. And then I want to check my blueprint just to make sure I know exactly where I was planning to have the spare root. Yeah, so I was going to plan it to have it in the corner so I actually want the door to be over a little bit just because I want it to be like centered that's all personal preference though the door placement doesn't really matter and then one thing I also forgot to mention about growing plants in general is that you need good light sources too so don't forget about that um this is a herb garden. I don't really like that extra tower right here, so let's do that. And then an acquisition to clean everything up. And here you have it. This is where I will have my array. It's very weird, so it's just it would be a lot to explain, but let me see if I can kind of try to explain it. So right here, this is obviously my cultivation array. Right? This is the full cultivation array. And then these red nodes would be my eight node bursts. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they would be my eight node bursts. And then if I'm using four different cultivation cushions, then I would need to burst these black tiles, right? And then these black tiles over here are, they represent the bursting of those tiles. And then these white tiles would represent the bursting of the corner tiles also. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And I'm already seeing where I may have messed up because I have no clue how I'm going to place something in there. So I may have to actually break the wall down and things like that. And then these rooms will be the rooms where I'll have my spirit roots. And then this room right here will have the spirit root that is connected to the array. And I need to figure that out based on which um, spare root I want to do. I think I want to do, or based on which array I want to use, I think I want to do an earth array. And now that I'm also looking at this, I'm seeing that 
there's definitely a flaw in the fact that this is only a range 4 setup and I was barely able to fit this in honestly so I don't even know if I could do a range 5 setup so this might not be as effective for like a bigger array if I had cultivation items with a better range so besides that I'm just looking at these range 5 items just to kind of get a idea of where a range 5 item would go so right here this is range 4 right but range 5 would just be one tile bigger than this so I can just kind of move this over one huh well this would be for a burst not for so I guess this would be range 5 like right here so I could just fit some things around like this area and I don't have too many range 5 items but that's besides the point I don't really want to confuse you guys that much with these like very advanced um, array mechanics so which is several well, I used to move all of these items over so I'll just use this guy right I believe this is the guy that I used last time so I need to find these dragon feces and I have a I have seven and then I have eleven that are on display cases I'm pretty much just recreating my earth array so I may just steal some from that one so that sits right there and then there's one right here that's decaying let's go back and then spirit wood has extra chi too and as you can see this is rich soil and then besides that I can all I would also like increase the soil of this by like making sure that I have corpses on it or feces but I mean the soil is already at 2.0 so I'll work on that later once I build all this array but shout out to spirit soil for being so powerful So let me put this dragon feces down. Add up to range three. Up to range three. Oh come on. And then for this I just like to drop it from the middle. Oh that was not in front of the middle. Did this guy just like zoom somewhere else? <sighs> That's so depressing. <laughs> I just lost track of that dragon feces. Okay, let's try to search for it. Yep, it's right here. And then all of these are about to decay, so I can't even really mess with them. I don't want this one. I want. I think this is the dragon feces just because the icon looks different. Ah. Okay, so the middle room for this array, I was thinking about either putting the ultra essence in it because the ultra essence just requires. A temperature tolerance of let's see I can pull this up so that makes more sense so I also filled in some temperature requirements for some plants that may be useful to use in gameplay and then I also created this thing where I can just like change the temperature and then the plants that are fine with that temperature will pop up right so the ultra essence requires a temperature of 30 degrees at least which is pretty easy for cultivators so that's pretty easy to regulate in terms of the cultivation room so I was thinking about using the, the orchard essence or using the gnarled vine because the gnarled vine just requires a temperature of 15 to 35 which is comfortable for cultivators as well but it's kind of hard more difficult to more difficult to get that temperature without 
using the mod however because I'm doing this on a Nimbus cultivator I definitely want to make a wood array so I'll be going with the gnarled vine in this so I will remove this dragon feces and then besides that I do distinctly remember that when the cultivation rooms wiki was added there was a different type of setup that was configured in a way that you can like just add a dragon feces because the elemental emit will still be overpowered by the total elemental emit of the other ones and dragon feces has a really good chi gather so it's always good to add it if you can so right here this is a metal array which uses earth chi gather item so that's fine so this right here is a water array and as you can see like as it gets more powerful you can just throw a dragon feces in there just to boost up its um, power without negatively impacting the array so I want to go to like pretty much see what the best wood array would look like let's see yeah so this one is saying like soil A shallow water around hmm as those cultivation arrays often use cold items the water and cultivation ran away so they use water fire respective balancing okay I wonder if this is the cultivator and not the array let's see yeah this says water right and this is using a metal item it's using a metal decoration and it's saying water okay so this is based on the cultivator's element so my cultivator's element would be hmm I want to do a wood array because my cultivator has two elements so I just need to select the array that has the best wood to <laughs> gather if that makes sense uh, it's hard because Nimbus has two cores so I'm just trying to think about what I would use okay so this is what I'm looking at I want to do a fire breakthrough yeah that's how I wanted to think about it ah so the ginkgo tree might have been useful too because if I change this and I moved it to where a ginkgo tree was assuming that it's not on horrible fertility spot with horrible fertility and that would be useful I don't have a huge ginkgo tree thankful thank you I'm so happy that I do not have a huge ginkgo tree right now because I would have been stressed trying to figure out how to fit that one in as well all right so <laughs> we'll stick to this <laughs> anyways back to figuring out how I want to set up my array not this this is too weak so now we're getting into the stronger territory where we're using Phoenix wood and as you can see because this Phoenix wood is so powerful you can use even two dragon feces at the range three so I'm just looking for the best so this is still fairly early game okay so let's read about the next step the next step would be used to Price on all vines for a significant range one improvement and to make use of the extra emit to incorporate more dragon PC. So I will definitely have to go off screen to do the math to calculate the elemental composition because it is a very intricate formula and I'm not even sure about that and I think it will take me at least an hour just to like figure out how many of each item I could use unless I could figure out really quickly how to do it but I think I'll just start off with using all Phoenix wood and no vine and then move from there. So I definitely want to move the dragon feces away and then I want to start to pick up some gnarled vines so that I can work on that. Maybe I can try to freestyle it I guess and then just kind of look at the elemental composition on my bottom right screen and then I need one more gnarled vine I don't even know if it makes sense to pick up six 
because they're range two, so it definitely did not. So let's see. Yeah, this is range two. So this is at range one. This is range two. And then these other corners are range two. And then you can't build on top of a spirit root, right? So because my array was configured to use four cushions because I'm weird, I was planning to have my spirit root like here, right? But because I'm only using one cushion in this one right now, I think I want to put my gnarled vine closer just to give it some more wood element. And then also like the, the gnarled vine plant, not the cultivation item. I'll plant a gnarled vine like here but normally I would just have it here so that I can put a cushion here also. So I think that I'll just go forward with doing that, but I need to put the spare wood down first or whatever other items that I'll need. So let me start to think about the dragon feces and how much I can allow. So as you can see this right here, hmm. actually I'll just do the, the range four items first. And instead of spare wood, I want to use the blood dragon scales. And then I'll do the dragon feces last. Okay, so I got six blood dragon scales. And then we have invaders. Um. I'm always just curious about what their stats look like. They're still pretty weak. Yeah, these guys are extremely weak. Okay, so I'm just going to move forward with placing these at range 4. I think these do change the temperature of a room, so... I might get some difficulty with that. And besides that, I think it might be best to just drop these down in the middle just to save me some brain power and then remove them later on because I don't really want to think about this right now. So I'm just going to drop them down and ban them and then worry about them later. Let's see, how are those invaders doing? Okay, they're going to be moved over soon. So let's bring this guy over here. Oh, they're too quick. Thankfully, I have all of this flooring, so I'll be able to tell. And then, as I said earlier, I want the gnarled vine to be placed either here or here. So, oh, sorry, I, I need it to be either here or here. <laughs> I just know I want it to be on the left side. So, let me actually remove the flooring over here so that I don't ruin the fertility. Because, as you can see now, it says poor soil and it has a fertility of zero. So I need the middle tile for two of the other gnarled vine to be greater than 1.6. So I'll make sure I handle that. And you know, let's just keep going. This guy's dying. I don't know why my disciple is taking care of it. Well, I do know why, but they're not worthy of it. And uh, let's just select anything that gives me a bonus because I am not worried about that right now. 
Why didn't this guy pick up sis? Did I choose the wrong disciple or something? Like, what is going on? Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, sis. You got this. Do you have sis in your inventory? Thank you. Now let's drop these down. I think that this might be enough to fill up the array. So let's see. Let me just start by picking up the range three ones. Actually, if I continue, it will be. If I continue for one more iteration, it will be easier. So let's try this. Uh, yeah, in this case, I would definitely recommend using display cases. But I don't know. There's so many benefits to having them on the ground, honestly, that to the point where I would never use display cases. But if that's something that would make your life easier, then I would use them. Uh, just one more set. I wonder if I could force them to drop on these tiles right here because I don't really want to have to break down this wall just to put something down. But that might be too much thinking. I think I can definitely avoid to having to break down these ones right here. So these two top tiles are being covered by the wall, so I can't place anything down. I'm fine with just breaking down one wall, but more than that would just be annoying. So let's see what happens when I drop this now that the tic-tac-toe is blocking. Nice. Oh, that didn't work, but it did land on one of the burst nodes. Let's try to move this disciple over one more and just see what happens. Okay. Intuition worked on that one. Now we have one last one. Overall, I'm satisfied with that. Should I try for these? this spot right here yeah let's go and do that so I'm gonna pick up these ones that are at range 3 and then stand over here and hope that it drops above me nice that was perfect <laughs> I promise you I had no clue on whether or not that would work or not so now I can remove these tic-tac-toes so that they're not blocking anything anymore and then just pick up everything at range 3. And then that's at a different range too. That's like range 5. I'll definitely need to bring up that blueprint again just to double check those ranges. It's kind of hard to tell on my own. Oh, and the good thing about this is that the gnarled vine can get enhanced by water. So I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky in the sense that um, the cultivation that items that I have that are range four are water cultivation items. And even so, the base one that you get is spirit wood, which is a wood one. So even if I had the ultra essence, then that would make it counteractive. So. I mean that wouldn't be too much of a big deal though because that would just make it so that I know that the Ultra Essence would probably be like my cursed fruit if I had to guess. Because it's counteracted to water and wood which are the range 4 items that are available being spirit wood and the flood dragon scale once you're able to defeat the flood dragon. That's the burst note, so that's why that's there. 
even though that's at range 5 because the range of a burst node is different from the range of a regular cultivation node and I'm not fully confident that this array is good but I'm willing to try it out so that's also range 3 Uh, let's see what my elemental composition looks like right now. Okay, it's still really strong on the wood. And then this right here doesn't have a really strong wood um, cultivation, but it's like wood and water, so it should still be good for my guy. Ah, and it's nice being on vanilla because you can see those values so let's say this is range 4 this is range 4 this is range 4 so I just have my range and this this is range 2 so right now I just have my range 3 items left over and then I have some burst nodes that I need to do so I need 6 more burst nodes and then I believe that this was a 3 node burst which is something that I had set up so let me just double check that yeah this is a range 4 burst right here so that would actually burst the cushion and then this is where I'm planning to have my spirit root at right so I can't place an item here so that's why I had a 3 node burst instead so right here this would be a 3 node burst and that would burst that corner right there but honestly this 4 node burst right here should be more than enough to burst these 3 nodes so this should be 3 node and then this one should be 3 node too so I just need to find a range 3 item. I could use a dragon feces honestly. But I think I should probably wait until I plant my spare roots to determine that. Okay so it looks like I have everything besides these two range 3 no birds and then six uh, birds for range 4. So let me also so I need exactly six flood dragon scales which is perfect because I have six slots let's go let's go let's go ah, creating blueprints is just so fun to me especially when it feels like it's something that like no one else has ever done before <coughs> and this one is just so weird and I hope it works out perfectly to the point where I get those bonuses and mental state and start to get those symphonies, sympathies. So how cold is this room? This is negative 32 degrees Celsius, which isn't bad and it's only 61 um, space so it's pretty easy to increase the temperature of this room ah so then my next step is to figure out pretty much how much dragon feces I can put in here so let's see if I can try to figure this out like really quickly elemental composition is really it feels like it's very complicated honestly so let's see element cost Maybe this budgeting element strength. Dragon Feast is the strongest range 3 chi guy. The item it only weekly it only emits weekly. The spare soil terrain has 40 gather chi as long as you don't build flooring on top of it. Okay. To be able to do so, you need to have enough of the feeding element for your cultivator on the cultivation tile to pay for the elements you introduce. 
the cost taken from elemental composition page is overcoming what is this a fire cultivation array you need to use the Phoenix Jade at range one same element strength you need to have at least 12 times 5.670 oh so this is supposed to be a decimal it was 60.8 wood element emitted on your cushion tile so I need to calculate how much wood element emit I have to sort of figure out how much I can afford I believe which is a lot to do right now but let's try it out real quick so Phoenix wood is the other it's a range 3 wood elemental item so I'm gonna pick up six of these and then place this Phoenix wood down then let me confirm that these blessed spirit roots have um, good gather chi yeah so this is blessed so this has positive gather chi I believe the crazy ones have negative gather chi yeah so let's go back to the phoenix wood because I believe there were some that I needed I need what well, looks like two phoenix wood So let's go have this guy equip two more Phoenix wood. But yeah, as you can see, that elemental composition logic is very useful, but it would just take time to figure out. And of course, this guy only picked up one. I thought that I clicked it twice. Ah, and I have enemies invading frogs okay sorry guys but uh you're dead <laughs> you're dead you really thought ah uh, so now this is my full array I don't know how I could figure out how much elemental emit I have. So, firstly, I would need to go to probably the wiki page for elemental emit or something like that. And then see what Phoenix Wood is in terms of its range. So, this is the strength and the range. Okay, so this has okay, that's a tree. It has a range of three, which is perfect, and then a gnarled vine. And it has a strength of eight. And the gnarled vine has a strength of twelve and a range of five, which is even better. So basically I have twelve and then eight for those bonuses. And then uh, I need to check out the gnarled vine tree. In terms of what that elemental element would be, since I'm adding the spirit root. Let's see. Nardvine is the elemental fruit. Wood, spirit root, Nardvine. This is what I want to see. So this only has an elemental emit range of two. That's interesting. So this elemental emit wouldn't even touch the cushion unless it was on top of the cushion so that's not even something to be considered so that simplifies things so it's really just the phoenix wood and the gnarled vine so let's just go back to give myself refresher so 12 and then uh, the phoenix wood was 8 I'm just going to try to spin up a really quick formula it has 8 and the gnarled vine 
at 12 and then put in how much Narvan I have and then how much Phoenix Wood I have and then this formula would be this value multiplied by 8 and then this formula would be oh sorry the Narvan is 12 I don't know why I did that backwards but let's see can I flip these two nope okay so I'll just change this to Narvan 12 so if I do 1 and then that's 8 so then the penis wood would be this the amount that I have multiplied by the elemental emit size Phoenix wood is 8 and the normal line is 12 and th so this formula is wrong right now so that should be H94 <sighs> so we have total emit that would be just this plus this so right now this would be 20 and then how many do I have in here so I have 8 Phoenix wood and 5 gnarled vine I wonder does the I don't think the cushion would emit anything yeah so cushions do not emit any element so I'm dealing with 8 and 5 right yeah So let's go back in here. So I have eight Narvine. I uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I have five Narvine, and I have eight Venus wood. So my total emit is 124. Now let's go back to here to kind of figure out what I can do. One up element emit overcoming element cause. Oh, so the cause depends on what I'm using so I would be using dragon feces right because that's the only item that has a higher gather chi than Phoenix would in terms of like the range three items that I have I believe right and the dragon feces is overcome by earth I mean overcome by wood so I believe that let's see Overcoming element cause mm, neutral and then feeding. What does neutral mean though? Like, would this count as a neutral element? Let's see. Hmm. how much element limit be getting says Phoenix. I feel like they counteract each other so I would use the higher number but let's go back into the code of Phoenix wiki overcoming element same element and then neutral I'm really confused about what is or I'm really curious about if it's defined as neutral because wood overcomes earth but o earth doesn't overcome wood right but they are counteractive to each other so I would assume that it would still not be it oh so the elemental cost over here cost and emits for each element to use the gathering chi items at the consider range so let's see dragon feces for a wood The table shows. Ooh, I just lost it. So for dragon feces, which is earth element, for wood it will cost thirty-seven, but for water it will cost seventy-seven. So I think I was correct because, as you can see, now I can't see this right here. 
and this is the dragon feces right here and then this is water and then this earth so earth overcomes water right so it's 77 but I think because it's neutral then it's 37 so that just answered my question right there and then panacea pills have a elemental emit of 8 so those would cause 98 so it's actually better to use the dragon feces over the panacea even though they have the same chi gather because the panacea pill has a really high elemental emit so that's interesting to know so I'm wondering oh this is interesting so if I use the flood dragon forbidden scale then how much would that use for a wood array? Why does it say negative 12? Is this saying that it wouldn't remove it? I have no clue what I'm reading at this point. Let's go to wood items to see how much a wood would cost on a wood thing. Why would a wood item cause on a wood array I'm thinking that I would be better off with the dragon skill actually as an example the first wood cultivation array below has an extra three prism loaders to balance the dragon feces at range three wood cultivation array Ah, this is killing me. So a wood cultivation array. Is for a wood cultivator. But I need a fire cultivation array. Ugh. Yeah, for a fire cultivator array. Yeah, so this is cultivation, this cultivator for a fire cultivator array. If you want to use a Phoenix feather jade at range one, same element. 12 strength, you'll need to have at least 12 multiplied by 5.687 wood element emitted on your cushion to use it. This is after deducting the cost of terrain as discussed in the choice of terrain selection. <laughs> this is a lot, like what? This is insane. Let's try to see if I can make some sense of this. I'll go to Phoenix Fire Jade and then I'll go to Fire. So this is Phoenix Fire Jade. And then for Fire Array, it will cost 68. So this is based on the cultivator, not the element. So I actually wanted to look at the Fire Array. So for Dragon Feces, it will cost 37 for a Fire Array, I believe. And then the Flood Dragon Scale will cost 308 and that makes sense because water um, is negative to fire so it would be best if I use like yeah so it would be best if I use wood items but then if I can't use wood then I would just use the next best item so fire is the same element so Phoenix Jade on a fire array we call 68 and then uh, this will be way too much because right now I only have what 124 so I think I'm just doing too much by trying to figure out how I can enhance this with items that are better than dragon feces so let's just stick to dragon feces this only costs 37 right so I'm thinking that I have enough for that So if I'm reading this correctly, let's see. I can do two. I think I can do like three dragon feces because that would cost 111 and I have 124 elemental array. So that would keep it in the negatives. Yeah, so this array right here is using one two three four five six and this array isn't better than the array that I have right now I think 
Hmm. I think it also depends on the range too. So yeah, there's no way around me not using this formula. Ah, I'm sorry for all of that math. I really was super curious about that. So at this point, since Dragon Feces is range three, I'm just going to start off with three Dragon Feces and then see what that looks like, honestly. But once I actually like fully figure this out, I'm going to be able to explain this to you guys so that it really makes sense. Why is this guy not picking up everything? So I'll just start with the further ranges just because they're further away so they should be less of a harm to the elemental limit. So the things that are at range 3. So I'll have a dragon feces here. Please don't decay on me. Oh, 140 days. That's more than enough. That's almost a year. Or more than a year. And this is like fully range 3. So I don't know. I'm just going to do it right here. It's like after you look at all of those numbers, you're like, I don't know. I don't care. Um, let's see what the elemental composition looks like. So right now we're at 5% earth and 95% wood. I believe that you just need 95% in the element to get the perfect elemental composition for the golden core score. Let's see. This is auspiciousness. I don't care about this. It needs to have at least 1.85 for the maximum bonus. How do I figure that out? Okay, so this is the elemental strength. Two times big getting elemental ratio. What in the world? Oh, so this is the ratio. Okay, so I'm using begin. <laughs> ah, this will make you go crazy, honestly. I have eight Norvine and. I have 13 um, items in total, right? That were wood elemental. So it would be 2 times 13 elemental strength, right? And then if I add a. Um, no, this is not it. plus same element ratio. Total element is 0 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. What in the world is going on with this? Element divided by total. Oh, yeah. I definitely cannot figure this out right now. <laughs> I'm just going to continue to put dragon feces down. Yep, that's the plan. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't do this math um, on the fly. I need to sit down and do and take some notes, talk to people in the Discord to try to figure this one out. That formula is crazy. but I actually cannot wait until it starts to make sense for me. This guy is so fast, like you're so quick to leave. I put you here for a reason.
Let's just see what it looks like with one extra dragon feces. So now earth is at 6% and wood is at 93%. I feel like there was a percentage number that I could go off of. So uh, let me just go to one last Hail Mary and go to the Golden Court score page. There we go. They knew exactly what I wanted to do. Golden Core, Breakthrough. Elemental composition of tile. That's where I want to be. Let's search. Elemental composition. Let's try searching composition. For a non the this factor is always one. The element composition factor. So you just have to make sure that it's point is five stars, basically. And that elemental strength has to be one point eighty five. Yeah, this strength formula doesn't make any sense to me right now. So, what I'm going to do is take this fire cultivator and then put them down on this cushion. So, cushions don't emit elements, so it's nice just to have a cushion be very auspicious if you want to, but I don't really care about that. But if I wanted to make a proper array room where this had like good feng shui, then I would make this cushion um, a fire based cushion because there's um, wood elements all around it but they don't emit and I'm not really looking for coziness since that doesn't affect the golden core score so I'm putting this cushion here and then I'll assign this to one of my fire cultivators not my wood cultivators and I only have one fire cultivator which is nice and I have at least one and then have them practice here. Mm, they have five stars. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, it looks so good so far. So let's see what would happen if I not the Nard Vine. We definitely want that. If I remove this other Phoenix Wood and put this Dragon Feces down. Where are we at? Oh, now it's three. So was that simple, huh? Ah, <sighs> doing math is so bothersome sometimes when you just have the numbers there. So if I drop this down again, we're back at five stars. So the elemental composition is good, and this array can handle four dragon feces, which is pretty nice. <laughs> so now that I have that set up, I want to work on building out these spirit roots. And of course, I have all of my spirits over here, so I'll need to chop them down and then begin to build them, rebuild them at these other locations. So I'm actually going to save some of that. So this is day 324. Relocate. Want to relocate my spare roots. We're one hour and 15 minutes in. Hopefully, I can get this done in the next 15 minutes so that the video is not like an hour and 30 minutes long, even though the last video was really short. But I do want to like wrap up this topic of me, you know, trying to make this array, this all purpose array, like in just one video. 
So, I mean, this guy seems pretty happy. And then besides that, I also want to make this probably my cultivation branch and all of that other good stuff. So ideally I would just have spirit soil and then just build it like over here instead. But that's just not the case right now. So now I'll just wait for my um, disciples to bring down these spirit roots. And let's see. It seems like they were brought out. So... As you said earlier, I want to use my gnarled vine. And also, because these spirit roots have low, they're, they're bad at emitting element, I believe that I should be good to use the ultra essence too if I wanted to. So let's see. Because managing the gnarled vine's temperature would be kind of annoying. So this Ultra Essence has an elemental emit range of 2, so it shouldn't even hurt it. So I think I'll just move forward with using the Ultra Essence instead of the um, Nod Vine. So say I put the Ultra Essence right here, right? Let's see what the elemental composition changes to. Nothing. Okay, so it's the same. So this didn't even affect the element because it's range 2, so it's only affecting the element of these two tiles. So if I go here... This one should have more earth than anything. Yeah, I mean like uh the water and everything else is um also overshadowing it, but the main thing is that this one has that um 1.85 bonus so that I'm getting those five bonuses right here. And then you know this is growing. Let's see. That's a blessed spirit root right now. So I'm guessing the temperature over here is good. No, this prefers a environment of above 30 degrees Celsius. So I don't understand why it's growing. It might just be a visual bug. Like I'll probably have to restart my game to show it. But anyways, let's move the show on <laughs> and um, do this late shaping for this other stuff for the prism lotus. So I need to do lake shaping because I want my prison loaders to be right here. So I need to do a four by one, which will create a three by one tile. The prism loaders is uh, setup always throws me off. So then that's four by one. Okay, looks like that worked. Let's go one tile above. Four by one. Did we do it? I don't think you did it. No, that's not what we needed. Got another four by one. Let's just double check. Yeah, as I said, then I also want to double check that I can put, use my tic-tac-toe over here. Okay, so these tiles are definitely not filled with water. And then sadly, this is back to 1.6, which I mean, it's fine. There's nothing we can do about it because we need the prism lotus too. So then this should also be a 4x1. So I could make this a lotus root form if I wanted to as well and just make everything water but I want to kind of try to do something different. So this is where I wanted to have my prism lotus I believe. So let me just double check that. So right here, this is the Prism Lotus, and as you can see, it's able to give this guy a symphony if it was growing.
and I don't think this one is growing either because it's not at negative 120 degrees which is the range of the prism lotus so let me just transpose this array on top of this one yeah so everything looks like it's currently lined up perfectly and then uh, this will be my room for my crimson fruit actually I may want to like break down walls and use these guys in the same room so I actually move the crimson fruit and the ultra essence here and then have the prism lotus and the seishu here just so that the connected fruits are near each other oh this is the ultra essence actually So I'll just have the gnarled vine down here, but I also reserve the right to be able to connect these two if I need to. So now that that's done, all of these spare roots are settled in, and none of them are re reaching reaching the requirements. So these ones just need to be in very cold rooms. So I'll just set this one up by placing a display case down in which I'll have my soul pearls outer one is still a builder they're sleeping though wait this is a lot of effort for like not that big of a benefit I'm honestly you know just trying different things out because I'm mainly interested in it so these roots both like um, low temperature. This one just will take anything up below 20 degrees. So this will be good with the soul pearl. And then this one needs negative 120 degrees. And then this one needs over 200 degrees and it misses own heat. So it looks like it's growing already. I'm just looking at everything. Yeah, it just has to be above 200. I'm wondering why the growth rate is zero right now. I think it might have something to do with the lighting, so I also need to add some lights around these guys. So let's see. Yeah, because it also is pretty dark right now. I think this was the best lighting. Either this one or the crane lantern. Yeah, I think I'll do crane lanterns just because they're kind of cute. Spirit stone crane lanterns. And I'll do them on both sides of each spirit root. Because they also need lighting for just the room in general. I'm just going to try to make it like symmetrical. And just hope that it works out honestly. So I did this side for this one. And I have this part. Okay, so we got some lighting in this room, which is nice. And then uh, this room needs some lighting too. I would love to be able to grow some plants here too, but I don't think I'll be able to. Let's see. I'll use my blueprint to check out the range of the spare root. In terms of the fertility bonus. So this is the Ultra Essence and it's right here. So that means that I could really <laughs> yeah, I don't have any tiles, honestly. I have, like, what's that, three tiles that I could grow plants in. It's definitely not worth it. Let's 
So this right here is good. I don't know why they're showing as um, 0% growth rate. I may have to just restart my game to see what's up with that. But let me also make sure that I have these guys in good temperature. So this is the gnarled vine. So this is going to be the most tricky one to manage. And this is a room size 39. And it prefers between 15 and 35 degrees Celsius, right? So let's just go to my notes. I have to use like everything at my disposal. So I want to keep the gnarled vine at like 20 degrees Celsius so that I can grow some other plants. And I think I want to grow like some purity leaf or spirit leaf. And those can go up to 40 degrees. So if I want this room to go to 20 degrees Celsius, and is at negative 32 and has a space of 39 then let me go to my temperature control Excel sheet so it's 39 space and I want to change the temperature by um, let's see it's 32 and I want it to be 20 degrees so I want to add 52 degrees to the temperature This is using so many decimal places that it's just weird. Let's move this over. Some decimals. Nope, not that way. Like, what is happening? Okay, whatever. I can't figure out how to move these decimals over. Let's just expand these. That's weird. Okay, so I want to change the temperature by 2028, right? And demon blood changes the temperature by 1080. So if I just use two demon blood, then I would change it by 2160. And then if I just use one ice crystal igna then it will be negative 120 so right now my adjusted temperature effect is 2040 which is pretty good because if it's at 20 degrees then it would be at like 21 so I think I'll be good with two beast blood and one ice crystal igna so yeah that was way more simple than trying to fix those decimals so I need three display cases Or maybe not display cases because I would like to also put items on. I would also like to plant some things and display cases will take up space. So let's cancel that. And then bring in this disciple. Um, you need to drop these items over here. Unban, please. I'll actually just double click them. Then where did the feces drop? Ah, oh, that's not dragon feces. No, I unbanned that. Okay. Ah. <sighs> now that that's done. I'll have this guy pick up some beast blood and ice crystal bar. Beast blood, beast blood, where are you? And then ice crystal bar. Inspect. But yeah, I would definitely recommend that you use the um, the mod to regulate the temperature if you want to try to do something like this. 
which is just a lot of work, honestly. So let's go into the Nord Vine room and then try to change this temperature. This should definitely change it by 52 degrees. So these are here. I'm gonna try to tic tac toe them just to automatically reset the temperature. Okay, so we're at negative 13 now. And then this one just needs it to be above 200, so that's fine. I said 273. And then this just needs to be a negative 120, and which is there. And then this one just needs it to be 20 degrees, so I was also thinking about making this be uh, like a 10 degree room, because at 10 degrees I can also grow some plants. So let's see. If I go to here, where am I at? Where am I at? If it's 10 degrees, then I can grow the sage fruit, and then I can also grow some purity leaf and some spare leaf too, and I can also grow wheat as well. So that's just something that I was thinking about. So let me just remove this so pro and see what I can do. Uh, look, I run out of spirit stone blocks. I think I'm done making relics right now. Just because I shouldn't need that many anymore. So you can see from here, let's see how many spirit stone bows I have. I have a lot. 295 and then... 199 and then if I just double click on my screen I'm sure there's like at least 700 yeah so there's 873 spirit stone bowls just on my screen right now and then these are all the spirit bowls that I've been able to make with the spirit stone bow farm pretty much so that's just super good to have which one of my disciples has feng shui identifying I always forget which disciple has which okay so it's my one so let's just identify all of these feng shui, <coughs> these feng shui items, just to see where I'm at. Okay, so while I wait for this temperature to change, now I'm on to the next part of what I wanted to do, which was um, make sure that these guys have the proper bless their curse set up. So right here, this gnarled vine, I mean, this ultra essence is blessing, is going to be blessed. And I don't know why, let's see. It's pretty much surrounded by water element, so. Hmm. Maybe I'm, maybe it's just because I'm feeding it something like really good. But let me also turn off this automatic thing so that I can figure everything out in terms of what I want. So apparently this is blessed. Why? I don't know. But I can probably just continue to nurture it with high terror items of the fire element to keep it blessed. So I'm just going to leave that there. And then the curse spirit roots are the the curse spirit roots are the ones that will reduce fertility, right? But they also increase cultivation speed, but I really just want to focus on mental state. So I think I'll just try to go for five blessed spirit roots actually. So because I'm not doing a weird configuration in terms of like what I was thinking about, I'll just change this to all connective and then try to make sure that everything becomes blessed. So this is a water cultivation item, so they would like to have um, metal items to beget it. So let's see if I have any metal cultivation items that I can use. Yeah, so I have lumina cores, so I can just make some lumina core blocks for that. So let's see, I need... Where can I make luminocore blocks? This has been so long. Or sorry, luminocore bars. 
the smithing area. I need eight, so this is perfect. And then for these ones, I need the earth items, so holy stone blocks will work. Let's see how many of those do I have. I have 36 of those already. So I'll just start off with these holy stone blocks for now. I don't want to use like dragon feces or anything like super good just because I'm already using a lot of like overpowered materials for this array. So let's see, holy stone blocks. They have a really strong element to emit. Apparently I only picked up five again. I don't know why I keep doing that. I cannot count today guys, I'm sorry. Let's see what that sentient spirit was. I illuminate a pet's bed. I needed a pet bed too. A soul chant that get that primordial soul gem. So now this is surrounded by um, earth elemental items which is perfect for it now let's see if those luminal core bars are made okay so we're still waiting for the luminal core bars to be made so let's see what are my smiths doing nothing maybe my luminal core is banned let's see what's up with that no nope, it's good let's try to prioritize it to get it moving quickly yep Okay, so now those are being made. Um, this fire item needs wood items to grow it. I'm trying to think if those items would burn. Let's see. Actually, I think those items would burn, so I probably am better off just using fire cultivation items simply because those won't burn. And then this is a spirit stone um, lamp, so I can't even use this. I would need to use a fire-based lamps. So let's destroy those and then search for some fire cultivation items. The fire materials. Hmm. They actually don't have to be cultivation items. So I can just use whatever items that I was using earlier for these guys. Was it the earth pill? Yeah, this is a wood elemental pill, so this should be good for my fire array. If I just go to wood elemental, then pill. I have nine earth pills, luckily. So let's just pick up those. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was six, right? Okay, there we go. And then this is already on a patch of spirit soil, so I think it should be good with just these amount of um, earth pills. And then let me just double check that the earth pill has like some sort of temperature tolerance uh, I clicked the wrong button okay let's go back to the wiki earth pill I mean it doesn't say anything about the temperature tolerance of the pill so I'm assuming the pill can't burn we'll find out So I'm going to leave it at these sits right here. And then, oh, yeah, these aren't banned. I also need to make sure that I create those lanterns again. Let's go to decoration. Crane lantern. 
I don't have any igni copper bars. I need to make my smiths like just create a bunch of those just because it's getting annoying having to consistently look for them. So I'll just create 40 right now. So let's move on to the aluminum core bars since those are ready. Oh, I was searching using wood. Let's see, do I have any igni copper bars? Nope, still. All right, let's see where these aluminum core bars are. Yeah, I'm thinking that these might not even be the best metal items for the task that I need done. Let's go to pills. Yeah, I'm probably better off using like the Maro pill or the Samsara pill. I think I will use the Maro pill because I don't want to bring too many opportunities for voids in my chi by having too many chi gathering items at the wrong range. So let's see, where are these Maro pills at? I'll just use sits. And all of these pills have pretty good elemental emit. So now this should be surrounded by a nice element. The holy stone blocks, I might, also, yeah, I probably also should replace these. Mm. Let's just go to Elemental Emit Wiki page. Let's try to search Emit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think this is the thing. I want to sort it by strength, and then find the earth one. So I should be using like Earth Plus instead. Yeah, that would make more sense because it's even a better has better emit than Holy Stone Block. So I definitely want to use these Earth Pluses, especially because I have so many. I have eighty six. So that was my mistake. Uh, two, three, four. Five, six. So now this is growing properly and it's at twenty eight degrees Celsius out of thirty five. This is growing properly. And this has a minor curse. I don't want this to be cursed. I want this to be blessed. So let me try to feed this with a high elemental wood based item. Not the earth pill. I'll give it a Phoenix wood because just because I have so many Phoenix woods. But typically I wouldn't do that. If I can click it or find it. <laughs> I know I have a big stack of like 30. Not that, not that, not that. Yes. And then of course the Nord Vine would like to have wood based item, water based items, sorry. So let's just go to pills. Or let's go here. I believe the good thing about the gnarled vine is that the prism lotus doesn't have any um, emit. I mean, it doesn't change the temperature, so it's really nice. Especially since the gnarled vine is very sensitive with its temperature requirements. Yeah, so the prism lotus is a very um, unique water item in the sense that it doesn't change the temperature of a room. It doesn't have any influence. So I'll use those for my gnarled vine array or my gnarled vine plant. So one, two, three, four, five, six.
then I oh I still want that ice crystal bar since it's reducing the temperature I'm just really too lazy to do eight so I'm just gonna keep it at six but the prism lotus does have chi gather so I'm thinking maybe I don't want to use it <sighs> let's see can I find another one that doesn't change the temperature dragon elixir I believe this does change the temperature so I think I'm oh fire powder that looks perfect and it definitely looks like it does not change the temperature let's see no not at all and it's cheap please tell me I have some fire powder no maybe a sec to selling it let's see just buy all those dragon elixirs no 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 oh yes there we go I'll just buy eight for good measure and I'm so rich man I promise like I, what do you want to trade oh I need to get rid of these bows because I just have so many and they're just in the way at this point if they're not relics then I don't care about them let's see I have 1970 spirit stone bows Okay, so I can get rid of 200 right here. This is amazing because this is going to free up 200 slots. And then I'll just trade more of these. Hundred eighty, maybe like 170. There we go, fair trade. See what my storage area looks like. Beautiful. And then I'm pretty sure I have some bows that aren't even in my storage area. Wow. Okay, so these are where the bows were at. Yeah, so out of a thousand, two thousand that I made, only a certain amount became uh, functional relics, which is three, six, nine, three, six, nine is 18, and then three, six, and then nine again. So that's 27. So I got, what well, is 27 minus one or minus two? So I got 26 out of 2,000, so that's like phew, less than 1% chance. So let me unban these uh, prison lotus and then get this fire powder. Assuming I can't pick it up because the disciples are going to move it. Someone already, okay. I don't know why he put them in two different stacks, but whatever. So it's called fire powder because it's a water elemental item and you use it to like heal, heal fire and base injuries. So that's why it's like counteractive in terms of the naming of it. Fire powder is a wood elemental pill. Okay, so I think I did pretty good. I have no chi gather items over here to further make my raid worse. And then I have all of these things set out. Then let's see. My room's temperature is pretty good. I think it's becoming spring. So the temperature is going to start to drop. So that's something that I'll need to readjust for. Where did that beast blood go? I thought that I dropped two. Let's see. Okay. It went behind the crane lantern. I was so confused. This guy has been giving me trouble with like dropping things all day. Okay, so this room's temperature 
is in line and then this is at negative 28 degrees and where did I say what did I say I wanted this temperature to be is anything below 20 degrees so I wanted that to be like 10 degrees or something like that if I remember correctly back to the Excel sheet yeah I wanted this one to be 10 degrees because if it was 9 then I wouldn't be able to do as many roots but I mean if I just did like spirit relief or something then I could comfortably do it like this so hmm with just 10 degrees I think that I will do like spirit leaf or purity leaf just to kind of get an idea of how that will look and I don't really want to think too much so this is a room 44 space so if I enter this in my temperature control SL sheet and then I change the desired temperature change to I mean hmm I don't think this really matters. Let's see if I just put one. So then I know that I would change the temperature by 24 degrees, right? So then by the two, then it would change by 49. So it's in order. I don't know why so many decimal places. So I probably just need like one beast blood, demon blood to increase it to like closer to zero to make it a little bit more safer for the spirit root, uh, spirit leaf to grow. So let me just get one more beast blood and put that here this is my first time trying out this whole setup so bear with me there's a lot to learn on my end but I believe that I will be able to simplify this process sooner and of course I don't want these display cases so I'll just ban this right here because they take up space. Ah, now I believe that everything is built. Let's see. This has a growth weight, this has a growth rate, this has a growth weight, and this has a growth weight. And this is cursed. So let's feed this a uh, metal item. Sam sour pill? No, let's not do that. I mean, maybe. I do have a lot. Whatever. I don't plan on making any more super cultivators right now. So this one is being nurtured. And then this is the gnarled vine. So this needs a water based cultivation item. Of course, I'm going to use the flood dragon scale. I know where they're at. And then, so everything is being nurtured except for this one right here. This needs an earth item. So I can just use like a holy stone block or something like that. Oh, or ultra essence, of course. I should be using spirit roots, honestly. Uh, so these are being nurtured. Nurtured. So as you can see for this blessed spirit root, this, um, so right here has a 3.0 rating and then this is poor because it's um, cursed and then this is blessed so it's also increasing this rating <coughs> so I'm really just wor <coughs> worried about these three rooms because I am well not this these three actually not this one so these two because I am trying to grow some things in there so I do want to move forward with putting some um Herb garden is down. And I honestly don't even care about these herbs. I'm just curious as to how fast I can grow them. So I'll do spirit leaf here. And then I think here I'll just do like wheat. Since this would be more applicable to like an early game situation. And then wheat has a temperature of zero. Oh, zero to negative 40. So this is actually not good for wheat. So this one will be better for the spirit leaf, actually. So let's just make sure that this herb garden doesn't go into my cultivation array. 
Yeah, so this can be the spirit leaf, and then I'll do wheat here. Since this is under zero degrees. And I also need to be sure to not place it down on this three note burst that I need to do. And then besides that, I also want to boost up the fertility of these tiles by like putting corpses and feces around there. So I'll probably start to work on that in the next game and like pretty much anytime like someone is about to die or something like that, then I'll just make sure to move their corpse over. Who's this guy? You're a visitor. Um, let me just fist this guy so that I'm not annoyed. Oh, they're not affiliated with a sect. So I don't really need to worry about them. Whatever. So now that that's done, I do want to do my range three cheaperish nose to finally end it. <laughs> so let's see. Do I want to use panacea pills? Uh, I think I'll just use Phoenix wood honestly because I'm like using. Uh, I don't know. The dragon feces does have a higher chi gather. So I could just use those. That probably would be better. Dragon feces. Dragon feces. And the game saved for me. They know that I want to save. Sadly, this is another two hour video of me like trying to explain the things that are super hard to explain. All right, so now that that's placed down, and uh, this guy has fire, water, metal, what were they misnamers in earth? Unsuitable temperature. Okay, so this is a negative 31 degrees room now. I think it's because I'm approaching spring, so the temperature change has happened like very drastically. So I just need to add some beast blood in this room, honestly. Let's see, this range is, this room is 60 um, in size, so I think three will be good. Because one beast blood will change this room's temperature by a little bit under 20. We're at negative 30, so I need to get to, pos I would need to get to negative 10, and then this will bring me to negative 20, and then this will bring me to around 40. So let me also just tic-tac-toe these to try to reset it. So now we're at 27 degrees. Is it going higher than that? Nope. So I think I need one more. Um, this bear is in my way. So I have this guy equip this beast blood and then also equip this one. because I want to move it over to the right side just to make everything symmetrical. My guys plant in my gardens. My very high fertility gardens. Ah, and I think that's good. So now this is going up. And let me just re tic tac toe to just quickly reset the temperature values. Okay, so now we're at 48 degrees Celsius. So the temperature is good on this guy for sure. This is negative 148. I may need to add another soul probe, but I don't know. This is 270, which is high. This is the gnarled vine room, which is 27, which is perfect for it. 
and then this is at negative one and I just want this to be around like negative something to ten so besides that I have these two plots which is like 31 space and 28 space <laughs> where it's like pretty high fertility where I can grow some things which I mean it's overly optimized and completely unnecessary but I just wanted to do that just to challenge myself so yeah this is where we're at so now let's save my game so that I have this as memories and then hopefully all these plants will become blessed by day 8 because once they're blessed then they will increase the mental state of my cultivator who desperately needs it so let's see this is minor blessing minor blessing minor curse hmm so the season is making it pretty hard but I think that it will eventually get to be really good I don't know why is the five element bonus and X. Let's see. Yeah, maybe the game just needs to wait a little bit. Let's check the tiles. Okay, this is wood, water, earth, and this is metal. This one needs like a little bit more metal, but it's fine. Well, as long as these two are blessed, that's really what I care about. And as you can see, this guy has the wood uh, sympathy, metal sympathy, fire sympathy, water sympathy. And then there's the earth one that they need to get as well. So let's see. I'm pretty sure they have the earth one as well. However, just not showing because there's so many buffs that this guy has. So let me try to remove this guy from the branch. Plus farmer. That's my fire cultivator right here. So I moved him from the branch area and nothing changed. This is growing though, so they should be getting that sympathy. And has growth weight and all of that other good stuff. Okay. As you can see, is now here. So, the avatar, master of all five sympathies, has been awakened. <laughs> so yeah, they're getting bonuses from all of these um, elements and things like that. So in the next video, I'll just have to remember to bring the cultivation branch over to this side too. Ah, that was a lot of work. So I'm just thinking about, is there anything else that I want to do before I wrap it up? Nope. So I think I'm now in a spot where I can actually just do the tribulations for the next video. <coughs> so finally, in conclusion, I got really obsessed with spare roots and trying to figure out how to make it's so that my cultivator can cultivate while also being in range of all of the sympathies and the spare roots and then after learning that spare roots increase fertility of the tiles if they're blessed then I created this elaborate scheme to also expand these rooms based on the fertility range of the spare roots and then on top of that I learned that spare roots have uh, an effect on the mental state of the cultivator as well as the cultivation speed and all of that other good stuff so I wanted to further make it so that I could use them for a cultivation array and so this is how I got to this point and then with my cultivation array which can hold house like one to four cultivators right now I'm doing the one cultivator setup um, I had to change my eight node burst so these red tiles right here are where I would have my eight node burst or where I wish the ones that would take tic toe to do my eight node burst and then these white tiles are just the corner burst in case I want to do just a little bit extra and then besides that it looks like I do have some tiles which I can fit some range 5 items so 
right here I have these one two three four tiles which I can fit range five items so maybe I'll just top the cultivation array off by including that and luckily right here I do have um, some range five items and I don't think these guys have really high um, elemental emit either the wrath vein so let's just go here into the wiki just so that I ensure I'm not removing the element and also in conclusion instead of trying to figure out the elemental emit composition whatever you may just want to put the items down and see what it looks like honestly okay so this elemental emit is range 3 and it's range 5 so this will be more than good so let's finish this off by moving these veins over ah so I have more than I thought I did oh I have two right here and then my array can fit one two three four so I just need four let's just drop those down here hopefully they don't destroy my ultra essence in terms of element so one thing I don't like about this right now is that I can't really click and view my ultra essence but I guess I can just click on this it still has a good tendency so I don't know maybe I'll just um, remove this tile because I can see this like really getting on my on my nerves if I can't view the stats of my ultra essence let's equip this one right here because if I hover over this tile which is covered by my ultra essence then I can actually see the information so I put this um, range 5 item here I have a really really full array I hope that this won't reduce the temperature in my room too. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't. And let's make sure I ban this. This isn't really telling me anything that I can't view. Well, huh. it's kind of telling me the same information though, honestly. So I guess I would just have to be sure to look here. I do want to make sure my array is as strong as it possibly can be. So let's just drop that down. Oh. This is an extra range 5 slot that I had. Nice. So I can add two more. Interesting. This is actually perfect. This is amazing. Ah. Uh, I finally did it. <laughs> I created the ultimate cultivation array slash spirit root array in my eyes. I don't even know if all of these chi gathering items are going to break it, but yeah, I'm very satisfied right now. I barely had enough space to regulate the temperature of this room. So this is just going to make the micro a little bit harder, the gnarled vine specifically. But I mean, things look good. Like this has a 200% growth rate. Like what? Meanwhile, these aren't even growing. So yeah, let me do. Oh, unsuitable growth conditions. Let's see. See, this is what I'm saying. Like I can't really see what the problem is with this guy. 
No, it should be good. Let's move this. No, yeah, it's growing. If I get that pop up again, then I'll double check it. But besides that, I'm gonna save my game and make a strategic withdrawal. <sighs> Maxed fertility array. So let me just create the saves come and then just double check everything. Okay, so I'm not getting any messages about this and if this was growing um if it's, this was not growing then I wouldn't get a sympathy because you only get sympathies when the spirits are growing so that's how I can honestly tell and I just thought about that and this guy has 80 mental state now and then if I leave this array or get away from these sympathies then now they're at 50 so this array right now is adding 30 mental state which is amazing and exactly what I wanted and it has 3600 chi on the tile and then my best array over here had, um, I don't know, this has 2,800 chi. So maybe this one is actually bursted. So I don't know. I'll have to check that out later. But anyways, besides that, oh, that element went down. So I'll have to see if I can fix that also. So let's see, what elements are we dealing with? Okay, so it's one percent water now, and it's seven percent earth now. So what would happen if I remove that last wrath vein? Oh, it's still three. Okay. So what would happen if I remove this one? I'm thinking it might be due to the weather. Let's try to clear out this weather. No. Maybe the dragon feces is too OP. Yeah, I think it would be better if I just remove one of these dragon feces then. Okay, so now the element is back. And then I'll just get a phoenix wood to actually fix it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll have to create another safe scum. I'll just have this guy equip it because they're automatically pathing to the array. Let's drop this dragon feces down. I just want to ensure that I don't, I don't have any problems. Yeah, go cultivate, dude. Now, I'll just drop this down. And let's see where we're at. Okay, so we have five stars on the element. And we lost a little bit of chi gather, but I think it was worth it. So, yeah. That's pretty much where I'm at. I have my array. I have my burst nose. It's pretty crazy to look at. It's pretty crazy to understand. But, hey. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something from this and I hope you enjoyed watching me learn these things myself and you know also fumble while looking at these formulas and trying to you know make some sense of this but yeah thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video I'm, I really apologize for this video being a whole two hours and 14 minutes long however I just want to group everything up into one section and try my best not to have it all and like multiple videos if I don't need to do that so that's what I'm gonna do and yeah thank you for watching later